Welcome to the new episode of the Invital Advisory on the production of water suitable for aquaristics using reverse osmosis. What is reverse osmosis and why is it used? Tropical fish and plants require soft water free of any contaminants. Unfortunately, our tap water is very often hard and contains substances that are not good for the fish. Osmosis is therefore essential for demanding fish keepers who have ambitions to breed fish or grow demanding aquarium plants. Reverse osmosis connects to the tap water, filters it and makes it soft and free of chlorine and all dangerous substances. There are therefore two outlets from the osmosis. One with clean water and the other with waste water, which cannot be used in the aquarium, but can be used for watering or flushing. The osmosis can be connected to the water supply either permanently or only temporarily before changing the water in the aquarium. In the case of a permanent connection, the inlet to the osmosis from the faucet, the outlet of clean water from the osmosis to a barrel and the outlet of waste water to the waste under the sink. If we connect the osmosis before every water change, it is a good solution to place it in the bath and connect the inlet to the tap instead of the shower. We catch the produced water in a container and discharge the waste water directly into the bathtub. Once the water is produced, we hide the osmosis again. In what ratio to mix osmosis water with tap water? The water produced by osmosis is distilled, it means, it contains no substances and salts at all. It is therefore necessary to add essential minerals to it. The first option is to mix it with tap water in a ratio of 1 to 1 or even greater, thus obtaining water with at least half the hardness. The other option is to use 100% osmotic water for the aquarium water change, but top it up with a suitable product that will supply all the necessary minerals. What reverse osmosis kits exist? There are simple and more complex osmosis kits, and it is up to each aquarist to decide how powerful and sophisticated a kit they want to own. The choice can be based on how many liters per hour the osmosis can produce and also on how many membranes it contains. The membrane is the heart of the osmosis that purifies the water. The stronger the membrane is, the faster it will produce water. Two membrane osmosis sets are very efficient. The first membrane purifies the water, and the waste water that comes out of it flows through the second membrane, which purifies it again. This can achieve a very good ratio of waste to clean water and save on the cost of water. The efficiency of the assembly depends not only on the number of membranes, but also on the pressure in the system. The higher the pressure, the better the ratio of waste to clean water. For this reason, auxiliary pumps are installed in some assemblies. If you produce larger volumes of water for large aquariums, such a pump can soon pay for itself in water savings. Most of our osmosis kits have a float set built into the base. This is installed in the produced water barrel and once the barrel is full, it will turn off the osmosis itself to prevent overflow. This eliminates the need to constantly monitor the level in the barrel. The osmosis assemblies have not only membranes but also various filters and pre-filters. Pre-filters protect the membranes themselves from fouling and thus prolong their life. Some assemblies also include after-cleaning filters, which are placed after the assembly. These are called DI filters and are suitable for applications where very clean water is required, which may be in laboratories or marine aquarium applications. They are not necessary for freshwater aquaristics. The osmosis assembly may also be equipped with a pressure reservoir. This solution is used in kitchens, where the reservoir is placed in the kitchen counter and the water from the reservoir is filled with a dispensing tap, for example for making coffee. A 
A list of all types of osmosis assemblies from our offer can be found in a table in the category on our eShop. If you already own an osmosis kit, all these upgrades can be retrofitted to your osmosis. We offer water saving kits that contain two membranes. We also offer pump kits or even float kits. How to maintain your reverse osmosis system. Free filters should be changed regularly and about once every six months. The more water you produce, the more often you need to change the pre-filters. This protects the membrane, which is considerably more expensive. To know when to replace the membrane, which may be after several years, we recommend getting a cheap digital TDS meter. With it you can measure the TDS of the water produced. TDS indicates how many particles are in the water. If the reading on the display starts getting into the tens, you should replace the membrane because it is no longer producing as clean water as it should. For more tips, advice and tutorials, be sure to follow and subscribe to us, whether on social media, on our website or in these videos. We wish you minimum worry and maximum joy with your aquarium. In vital.